Hi, I'm Kyle Peterson, and welcome to Mattel Elite 101, Johnny Knoxville Unboxing and Review. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a Mattel Elite Series 101 unboxing and review, and today on the channel, we got the man, we got the myth, we got the legend, we've got Johnny Knoxville, but for all your Johnny Knoxville needs, all your wrestling figure needs, and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%, and Elite Series 101 is in stock at Ringside Collectibles right now, and one I've had my eye on since it was officially announced is Johnny Knoxville. Now, I love wrestling, of course, but I also love Johnny Knoxville. I love the Dukes of Hazard. Isn't that what he's known for? Uh, maybe not, but I did love Jackass. Of course, I was in high school when that was out. It was all the rage for me and a lot of my buddies and stuff, so I've been a long-time fan. I've enjoyed a lot of his movies. He was kind of our generation, or I should say maybe my generation's Evil Knievel in a lot of ways, and Evil Knievel is another one I really do like as well. But really love getting a Johnny Knoxville Elite. A lot of people groaned when this was announced because they want wrestlers in their wrestling action figure line. And guess what? I can understand that. I mean, when Gronkowski was announced, I was kind of like, eh, and I'm sure one of these days we're going to get Bad Bunny and I'm going to be like, eh. And then we got Logan Paul Ultimate coming this summer. Eh, once again. So I understand some of the feedback there. But I really, really do like this because A, I do love wrestling. B, I love Johnny Knoxville. And C, I thought he did a really, really good job against Sami Zayn, of course. And I love the idea of he's kind of almost like a modern day Andy Kaufman in a lot of ways. His outfit, really Kaufman inspired. A little skinny guy, of course, as we see here. He's got a cape that might make Lando Calrissian blush. So there's a lot here for me to like. Uh, your mileage may vary. A lot of you guys might not be as hyped up or jazzed up about this as I am. But I'm pretty excited to get Giant Knoxville out of the package here. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there, so without further ado, let's see what old Mr. Knoxville is up to. Look at that, looking fine. It looks like a superhero in that cape. Oh, Lando Calrissian, Johnny Knoxville, cape season running on forever. There's no end in sight to cape season, and Johnny keeping it going. Uh, I got a glamour shot of Jamie Lee Curtis right there, or Johnny Knoxville, one or the other. It could go either way. Uh, this definitely looks strange with the gray-white hair, as we're all always used to the black hair of Johnny Knoxville. But, you know, time waits for no one, I guess. That's the way they always say. First time in the line. Last time in the line? I'm going to guess so. I'm going to guess so. Johnny Knoxville across the bottom, WWE Elite. Series 101 seems crazy to say that high of a number, but man, here we are. Check out all the Elite 100 views on the channel if you missed any of those. There he is, Johnny Knoxville looking like a superhero on the side, looking really good. And Johnny Knoxville right over here, Series 101, True Effects, Certified Authentic, all the usual stuff. And we got the big cross sell down below. Of course, we're unboxing every single one of these on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. We got the blur, we got the tail of the tape, we got the glamour shot of John Knoxville from his WrestleMania match. Let's see what it says about John Knoxville here. From, very fitting, Knoxville, Tennessee. That might be how he got his name, of course. Height, six foot one. Weight, oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. Mwah. Weight, two cheeseburgers away from 175 pounds. So there you go. How about that? Finisher, the giant mousetrap, and that mousetrap is coming down the road to Sami Zayn, as we did see. Uh, it says down here, the Knoxville Strong Boy pulled out all the stops to defeat Sami Zayn in a hijinks-filled anything-goes match at WrestleMania 38. And it was one of the highlights for me. One of the highlights. Love seeing Giant Knoxville. Love seeing the rest of the crew, the wee mans of the world and all them. It was great to see. There's Mr. Knoxville's back there. He's got a little WWE logo, of course. See you later. Goodbye. And now we get him in the old plastic prison. Oh, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Look at this. How good does this look? Looking really nice, Mr. Knoxville here. We get some hands. Going to pop those bad boys out. He does have some glasses, or I should maybe say goggles here. So we got some goggles. And then he is locked in at the arm. And he is locked in at this arm. And then he is locked in at the waist. So he's really locked in. He's uh, full of power, apparently. They don't want him escaping. And there he goes, flying right out. And we're flying to the see you later. Twist ties go flying. Twist tie, goodbye, see you later. Carpet. Who cares? Who cares? The vacuum will take care of it. There it goes. 
All right, we're going to put Johnny off to the side, and let's see what he's got for accessories here. We do get two hands, and I love the attention to detail right here. So he does come with two fists of fury. Makes all the sense in the world. But we do get two gripping hands right here as I throw them on the floor almost. We get two gripping hands, and I love the attention to detail Mattel did here as they gave him his tattoos that are on his hand. So uh, really, really cool attention to details on that one. They could have easily not put those tattoos on his hands, and I don't think anybody would have said a word because I like Johnny Knoxville. I didn't know he had these tattoos right on his hand, these very small tattoos. So I love attention to detail like that. Uh, Mattel knocking it out of the park there. Then we get a little first-time-in-the-line goggles here. I can see these being used maybe uh, sometime in the future, but very interesting sports goggles, I guess, is what they would be. Uh, looking really good. Looking like a young Kurt Rambis is what that always reminds me of. Or, for a lot of people, maybe Horace Grant. Oh, Horace Grant. Everybody loves him, of course. Uh, so we do get those accessories. Then we get down to the old Johnny Knoxville figure himself. And this is one of those figures that just makes you smile. You see this, and it's just... It's just really, really cool, and I hope this sells really well. I would love more Johnny Knoxville. I don't know what we would ever get, but very, very cool. They took the time and the detail to make basically a one-and-done head sculpt right here. I think that is very cool. I got to think we'll see crossover collectors entering into the Mattel Elite line to pick this up. If they're a Johnny Knoxville fan, maybe they don't like wrestling, but they like Johnny Knoxville. They want this in their collection. I could see that happening, but very, very cool. We get the cape on him. First thing you notice, Johnny Knoxville World Champion, and I love that font. I'm not sure what that font is exactly called. Somebody can tell me, I'm sure, but love it. It reminds me, of course, of all the old school wrestling t-shirts back in the day. You know, Ole Anderson, uh, I'm that damn good. You got Dusty Sucks Eggs. Always reminds me of that kind of font, of course, Johnny Knoxville here representing, but very, very nice and very cool cape, and once again, a soft goods cape. I'm here for that. Looks really good. It can pull right over his head, which I do like. Of course, head's going to be removable here. No reason to untie this bow. You'll never get it back this way. Uh, so I really do like this. And I almost like that it looks like kind of like an old towel almost. I mean, it's not the fanciest cape in the world, but it's not like something our boy Lando would wear with a nice liner in the inside and things. But it is very, very cool. Johnny Knoxville, world champion. Uh, I love that. I love that attention to detail. And I love this figure. Now, is this a first time in the line mold? I am pretty sure all around this is brand new. Uh, it makes me hopeful that down the road they have signed Andy Kaufman and we're going to get a Legends Andy Kaufman, uh, something like that. I just think that would be just absolutely awesome for Mattel. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed for that one. But let's walk through the articulation real quick on, uh, on uh, Johnny Knoxville. Head side to side, up and down. Of course, head's going to be removable. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, is it not removable? But it finally did pop for me. Oh, it's a very tight head, though. Very tight head. Oh, there we go. I did get it back in. Very, very good. Okay, so we get the head. You get the arms to go all the way around. You do get a bicep cut. You get to, you get double jointed, pinless elbows. I am here for that. Uh, hands removal, of course. Got two fists of fury back and forth. You do get a very tight ab crunch. Waist articulation. Look at that. Those big old Johnny Knoxville splits he can do if he needs to. You do get a thigh cut, which is hidden very well in between his white trunks and his red sweatpants. I don't know what you'd technically call them. Tights, I guess. Uh, we do have that. Of course, double jointed pinless knees. How about that one right there? You do get a boot cut, or I should say shoe cut. You do get feet up and down, back and forth. And man, he's got some red Converse on. I got a pair of red Converse. Uh, I need to put these on a custom Kyle figure is what I got to do. But love the red and white attack here. Really does stand out. Really is uh, one of those things that catches your eye. He does got knee pads uh, molded into the knee and the elbows. So once again, this is like a one and done sculpt with this one. I don't know if we'll ever see this possibly again. It seems like... It just seems from a business hat uh, aspect, it seems like a lot of work for tooling and everything for a one-and-done figure, but I don't think there's really anybody else they could have used, so it had to be done if they were going to do it, but I am glad they did it. Of course I am. It just is really, really cool to get. I love off-the-wall stuff like this, and especially when it's off-the-wall in my department, makes it that much better here. You got the JK in the middle, kind of superhero style, uh, of course, for Johnny Knoxville. Just absolutely, absolutely stunning here. Now, the head sculpt, once again, looks just like Johnny Knoxville. I really wish he would have dyed the hair black, though. I always think of him in the black hair, of course. But like we said, time waits for no one. But he does look a little bit like Jamie Lee Curtis. We've been saying that a little bit since they first announced it. But it still does look cool. And these goggles are extremely tight. you got to work them kind of over uh, the hair on his head. He's got a nice sculpted hair 
uh, the gray hair, of course. But yes, the goggles do go on, and they do remind you of Johnny Knoxville. Of course, he always wears those big glasses these days, like a young Harry Carey. Somebody had to take over for Harry Carey. I actually have a pair of these that I kind of wear. Not the full-on goggles, but the Harry Carey glasses. I do wear it because my vision absolutely sucks. Let's cut to the chase there. Uh, I'm basically blind. I don't know how I... If I take my contacts out, I'm having to feel the walls to find out where I'm at. I think I'm negative 675 or something like that. For you contact wearers, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I'm blind. Blind as a bat. Watch out. Watch out. But it looks good. Looks good with the goggles on. The cape, of course. Choose your own adventure on the hands. Not much better than this as far as celebrity things in the Mattel Elite line. I'm eating this up with a fork and a spoon. I might even head over to Long John Silver's. I might get myself a fork. And if you watched the last action figure hunt on the channel, my dad and I enjoyed a little dinner at Long John Silver. So shout out to you, LJS. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Make sure you get the Mattel stand, of course. And I got a feeling he might not fit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. That was a tough one. You had to really push it in there. But make sure you get the Mattel stands for him. Ringside collectibles, as usual. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on this old Johnny Knoxville figure. But how about that? It's finally here, and it did not disappoint. Very excited to have this in the lineup. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the future with more celebrity involvement. Uh, personally, I'd love a Regis Philbin and a Bob Euchre. Give me those two. Heck, throw a Liberace and Alice Cooper and an Ozzy Osbourne in as well. Oh, and a Pamela Anderson while we're at it. So there's some celebrities that would be okay in the line. I don't think we're, this is going to be the norm, but maybe a celebrity every single year wouldn't be a bad deal. I got to think a lot of people are thinking Bad Bunny would be coming. I'm not really a fan of that idea just because it's just so foreign to me. And, you know, you know what you know and you don't what you don't, I guess. But this Johnny Knoxville, all in for me. Absolutely fabulous work. Must have figure right here. Could be top 10 of the year. We'll see. The year is early. But if I was doing the top 10 right now, he would be in there. We'll, we'll count it that way. But there it is, old Johnny Knoxville. What say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking this up? You playing the long game? You passing? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Give it the old like. Always helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel. We're dangerously close to 26,000 subscribers. We need your help. Make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. Don't forget about the Patreon channel where you can get early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, and like I said, best of all, you do help the channel. And you can support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Johnny Knoxville, I'm Johnny Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.